afternoon everyone. My name is Jukka Sinnemäki and today I would like to share a few significant lessons what I have learned in my teaching career. I had a student 17 years ago. He was quite shy but he always did his homeworks. He didn't cause any problems. So as a young teacher, I thought, what an ideal student. When he left the school, I got to know a totally different person. With full of joy, great sense of humor. He was great athlete, incredibly creative, innovative. I couldn't see that while I was teaching him for two years. My teaching methods couldn't find him. I was disappointed. Let's see a short video clip of Juho's creativity and joy. Vertu! Mikä meininki? Ei mitään. Täällä on hyvä asua, miinus 30 sisällä. Another story. One day there was a knock on my door. It was the second last day of the school year. And actually this girl was leaving the school. She had a very difficult background. And when she handed this oil painting for me, she said, I want to leave at least one positive, one good memory of myself. And I was so, so touched when I understood immediately the importance to be seen and to be heard. And we as a school really couldn't help in her terrible, difficult situation. But before she left the school, she wanted to make sure I'm someone and I value I'm unique and this really changed my perspective as a teacher, as an educator. So my question is which part the educator should influence? We often just see the visible 10% but how much more there is hidden, how much more uniqueness is unseen. I feel that in the school environment too often we give too much credits, we praise too much the easiness and the speed of learning. But what if the schools, the way how we do schooling, those don't meet the needs outside the school or in the work life? What's the number of unseen and unrecognized students? How much we praise the perseverance, how much, how much we praise the passion that they try hard, they don't give up, they have dreams and we can help to achieve them. There, there was a cool study that when we actually really can see the wholeness and the uniqueness of human being and we can offer them suitable challenges how our brain reacts and i think this is so cool so what happens in our brains and why because the brain does not believe that failure would be a permanent status we fail all the time and that's great but we rise up and go further, stronger. 
before we watch a short video clip of my previous classroom i want to bring one more thing it seems that nowadays there is so many things to do we are distracted all the time there is constant stimulation there is disinformation information there is multitasking and the list goes on and on but i want to highlight here where is the balance where is the time of silence where is the time to be only with our own thoughts i believe that the balance is so important if we are constantly stimulated and distracted distracted it really decreases our passion our motivation our creativity so let's not forget the importance of silence to be able to be healthy with our mind and body and really produce something unique beautiful and be passionate about it and this little video clip of my previous students hopefully shows and actually this is a reflection of the three years journey when there is a unity they trust each others they feel safe so basically the sky is the limit So come to the end, learning happens when you see the unseen in every child. Thank you so much, bye bye.